everyone! So before I show you footage of Osaka Castle, earlier that day I had a quick meal and I thought I would show you how I ordered it. So the process is pretty interesting and I think it's pretty efficient and if you don't live in Asia, I just thought it would be a little confusing if you've never seen something like this before because in a lot of the restaurants in Japan, you're going to find these self-serving machines where there's going to be the entire menu on it and corresponding buttons to each photo. Don't panic if you've never seen this because it's pretty easy to navigate. We learned through trial and error, but what you do is first you put in your money and you can calculate beforehand how much your meal is going to cost and put exactly that or just put in bills and wait for change. All the buttons should light up after you put in money and the button will flash after you press it so you know exactly what you ordered. The extra buttons on the bottom are usually sides like an extra egg or a miso soup and when you are done ordering, little tickets for each item should print out in that little tray on the bottom there. So in this footage, we figured out we should have put in money first instead of pressing all the buttons. And as you can see, after she presses the button, it flashes for a bit before a ticket is dropped. Make sure you have an individual ticket for each item that you ordered. After you have your tickets, you can give them to the server and then you can just sit back and wait for your food to come. So this may be wrong, but from what I noticed, it seems like fast food restaurants or places with a high turnover rate and a fairly small or straightforward menu tend to favor these machines. I also feel like these places are more for locals who are just trying to get in and get out with a cheap and filling meal and aren't really for tourists who probably want to relax and take in the menu, but that's just my opinion. Oh my god guys, there's so many people here today and it's because news is performing tonight. And that's why I saw so many Uchiwas with their faces on it. So quick knowledge, News is a Japanese boy band from a company called Johnny's Entertainment and I used to be obsessed with them. So for me to know that they're having a concert right here, it was blowing my fangirl mind. There's so many girls dressed up, hoping that News will notice them. Well, I'd want News to notice me too. Dude, this is so exciting. I'm so excited for all these girls because I'll never get to go. But I'm so excited for them. This is the Johnny's group that everyone's waiting for to see news. So after all the excitement of seeing a bunch of fan girls waiting for the news concert, we're heading towards Osaka Castle. And even from far away, it looks very pretty. It's very impressive. But I'm just wondering how long it'll take us to get up there. Taking a break from walking. I don't think it's actually too far. It's actually not that bad. It's way more manageable. And the day we went to Tenoji and all those other temples. But I'm still breathing hard. <laughs> Look at that stone on the bottom before it even gets to the castle. I wonder if anyone's actually attempted to climb the walls to get up there to any of the windows.
Look, they have a special version for the vending machines here. You can get blue, which is cold, but you can get red, which means it's hot. Isn't that cool? <笑>好吧你跳一段吧好好看好看好看 <笑> After spending a day at Osaka Castle, I couldn't help but go back and check out some concert goods. Even though I wasn't going to the concert, I decided to buy something to remember that I was at least outside one. For those of you interested in knowing more about Osaka history, Osaka Castle is definitely a place to visit. Because of multiple rebuilds, the interior and exterior is still fairly new and it looks really good. And just knowing that you walked in the space where an emperor used to be, it's a pretty magical feeling. Most of the floors containing important artifacts aren't allowed to be filmed, so I was only able to show you the observatory deck and a floor depicting the life of Hideyoshi Toyotomi, who built Osaka Castle. There's still a ton of stuff in there to read and look at and explore, so you definitely can spend a lot of time in there. The area surrounding Osaka Castle is also beautiful, and I know at night there's a light show projected on the castle that is supposed to be pretty cool, but I didn't get a chance to watch it, so I hope you do, and if you do, let me know how it is. If you're also a huge news fan or were, I'd love to know because filming that section was mainly so I have this little piece of memory to rewatch whenever I want to. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, subscribe and join me on my next adventure. See you next video. Bye!